Hello friends. This is the second of our four video series about marketing. In this video, we will talk about pricing of your tamarind candy, which is crucial for first time entry into the market. Let us look at how tamarind candy manufacturers have priced their products. Have you noticed the wide variation in prices? Why can some players command a premium price while others charge much lower? By the end of this video, you will understand why these players price differently and how you should price your product. whether it's imli candy tamarind candy sticks or imli lollipop the top two commonly used pricing strategies are cost plus pricing and value based pricing first cost plus pricing this involves adding a markup to the cost of goods to ensure a profit margin use this method when competing on price it is ideal for selling to a price sensitive mass market where price is the most important factor while keeping other factors like flavor sour and sweet taste color and packaging similar to your competition for example if the cost of production for 1 kg of tamarind candy sticks is 135 rupees you can set your price at a 20% to 30% margin say at 165 rupees per kg of candy assuming your competitors are not selling for less than 165 rupees second value based pricing this strategy sets prices based on the perceived value to the customer rather than the cost of the product Use this method when competing on factors other than price like flavor, taste, color and packaging. It is ideal for middle to high income markets where quality and packaging are more important than price. For example, even if the cost of production for 1 kg of tamarind candy sticks is 135 rupees, you may still set your price at 200 rupees per kg to charge a premium for superior quality such as better flavor, taste or premium packaging. Apart from these, you may also consider other strategies like initially setting low prices to attract customers and gain market share, then gradually increasing the price. Setting high prices initially for new and unique products, then lowering them as competition increases. Using psychological pricing, like setting a product at 99 rupees instead of 100 rupees to make it seem cheaper. bundling several products and offering the bundle at a lower price than if each product were purchased individually setting prices higher than competitors to indicate premium quality or exclusivity continuously adjusting prices based on market demand competition and other external factors next get your first prototype ready and ask your potential customers how much they are willing to pay for your product all the best thank you for watching for more videos subscribe to vyapar coach channel